Welcome to the European Commission. This is the Government of Europe. It's here that 27 commissioners and 25,000 staff have the sole right to propose legislation. Now, 75% of our laws that are made and passed every year come from this building and from these people. It's the lack of accountability, the lack of democracy that upsets people, whether they're pro the EU or anti the EU. There was a fantastic opportunity with the European Constitution to democratise the whole system, but that, I'm afraid, was squandered. Worse still, when the Irish voted no to the Lisbon Treaty last year, Commission President Barroso and everybody else here said, we're going to ignore you, we're going to carry on regardless. We're always told how much influence Britain has inside the European Union. Well, here in the council building you can see that Britain's missing off the map behind me. The fact is that no British minister can come here from Westminster and guarantee to stand up for the national interest because they can be outvoted again and again. A good example being our opt-out on the 48-hour working week. The government wants to maintain it, but within a few weeks we will lose that vote here. Well, here we are in the European Parliament, the supposedly democratic element of the European Union. Well, I can tell you, as the leader of the only opposition group in this Parliament over the course of the last five years, and especially since the Irish voted no to Lisbon, all we get is abuse just heaped upon us. No different view is allowed. And just a few weeks ago, when President Václav Klaus of the Czech Republic was here, he said to the MEPs, what's the matter with you? You're not listening to the peoples of Europe. And with that, 200 of them got up and walked out of the room. Well, of course, it should be your choice. And the Irish did have a vote on the Lisbon Treaty, and they voted no. But that's not good enough, of course. No, they've got to vote again in October, and this time they're told they've got to get the right result. Well, that's European democracy for you. And I thought, in a spirit of European solidarity, given that it's St. Patrick's Day, perhaps I might just slope off for a quick pint of Guinness. To find out more about who...